Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a wind tunnel using commonly found and cheap materials, such as cardboard. Um, so, we're going to start uh, by making the tunnel itself. And as you can see, it's just four equal pieces of cardboard. Um, <clears throat> one of them, which will be facing the viewer, has a cutout window made out of plexiglass. And it also has uh, 3D printed iPad holders, and I will publish the files and link them, link them to the video. Um, so, once you have your tunnel, you're going to want to make a platform for it. Oops. And that's going to help hold it up. What you want to do is you want to insert one of these guys, and this is a membrane made out of uh, rolled up paper tubes of the same diameter, and they match the cross-sectional profile of the tunnel right here. So the purpose of this membrane is to take the wind that comes out of this fan and make it into a laminar flow. Um, so basically, when the fan pushes air, it comes out of the fan looking like this. It's a spinning in a vortex. And when after it comes out of here, it's uh, flowing in the same direction and speed. And that's referred to as laminar flow in aerodynamics and um, that's what we want inside of our tunnel because that's going to allow us to see um, how air flows around objects normally. Okay. So as you can see the cross-sectional area of the fan is much bigger than that of our tunnel here. So what we want to do is make a little funnel for it. So you're going to want to measure um, how big your fan is and how big your tunnel is and just make an adapter. Um, and this is just made out of four equal parts, just like the tunnel. Okay. So now, um, a current trend in aerodynamics is combining the use of empirical wind tunnel testing with computational models. So that's why we use this app in combination with the wind tunnel. And this app allows us to draw shapes. And it, it simulates how air would uh, travel uh, around the shape. So we think it's really cool because uh, kids can really just put objects inside of the wind tunnel and then they can draw that object and compare the results between this computational model and their experiment. This iPad just slides in right here into this iPad holders. Okay, so once we put um, our object inside, we're going to use this little Camaro car. Go ahead. Um, we're going to want to introduce uh, what we call tracer particles. And these are, um, I mean, you could just call them smoke. But what they are is they're the really low mass particles that will get picked up by the airflow but they're not going to alter the airflow in any way. Um, so we're going to place our little toy car in here. And then what we would do is fill this container up with lukewarm water and dry ice. So as soon as you do that and close the lid, smoke is going to start pouring out of this straw. And you're going to stick it in here. 
Um, we don't have dry ice at the moment, um, but if this fan was on and there was dry ice in there with water, you would see a streak of smoke <clears throat> going around the vehicle there. And then what kids can do is kind of draw what they see. and compare. Um, additionally, what we've been doing is actually allow the kids to directly experiment with different shapes to see how um, the shape impacts the way that the air flows around it. And to do that, we have these templates in which they have little car wheels. So what they do is fold it in half And then they uh, draw an aerodynamic shape, um, which they then cut out. And then they get two little side profiles. And after they have their two side profiles, we'll give them these paper strips that they can put between the profiles to make a three-dimensional shape. Um, so this is a really cool way to allow uh, kids to quickly experiment with uh, different shapes. Oops. Uh, lastly, um, after playing around with this thing and trying it out on the, at the floor of the Children's Museum, uh, we noticed that the water vapor that was coming out of this container um, was starting to make the cardboard inside of this really watery. So what we did, we bought this uh, hydrophobic coating called Never Wet. You can find it um, at Home Depot for 20 bucks. And you coat the inside of the tunnel with it. And uh, basically, it's not going to allow it to become wet. Um, if you want to spend less money, you can buy rubberized coatings. Uh, I think those are 10 bucks a can. So that might be a better option. Um, if you want to add another touch, you can get one of these LED strips. Uh, I think this one was 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, uses a 12 volt supply. And uh, you can just run it inside of your tunnel. And that will allow you to see inside of it a little bit better. Uh, we've also tried to use black lights um, to make the smoke pop out a little more. And that seems to work Okay, it makes it look kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's the wind tunnel in a nutshell.